Hey guys, welcome back to the hot tea channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. In today's video, we are catching you up on recent news with Trisha Paytas, Tana Mojo, and a little Jeff Wittick, Khloe Kardashian, and the Ace family. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new tea spells. Head over to the hot tea Twitter account where you can follow and send us any tea or topics that you'd like to hear about including any deep dives that you'd like to see us cover. Get comfy, grab a snack, and let's spill some tea. Trisha seems to be living the marital high life and has been kind of quiet recently, mainly just posting ASMR videos and the usual kind of cringy TikTok content. One could say that she might be tired. One could also say that any drama or misbehavior doesn't fit the new mommy brand that she's going for, but either way, she is predicting the sex of the baby is going to be a boy. Trisha shared a TikTok where she tried the Chinese gender calendar and it told her that she would be having a little boy. These tests take your birthday and the date of consumption and spit out a guess for what you're having, and rumor has it that they are fairly accurate. Trisha also took to her live stream to share that she is kind of basing her guess off of some old wives tales that seem to be pointing at male. If you're, if you get morning sickness, it's a girl. If you don't, it's a boy. If you're glowing, it's a boy. If they kind of like suck the life out of you, it's a girl. Because it's supposed to the girl sucks your beauty out. <laughs> I've heard about these wives tales guesses. Like if you have heartburn while pregnant, then your baby will have a full head of hair. And if you carry the baby low, then it's a boy, etc, etc. But Trisha maintains that she would be very happy with either sex, but just feels in her soul that it's a boy. Moses and Trisha also discuss the name for the baby. Should it be a boy? If he's going to be born at the same birthday as my dad, maybe the middle name. Can you say it or no? It'll be after my dad's. Hmm? You going to say it or no? Yeah, we'll see if it happens. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's a Hebrew name, your dad's name? I mean, no, your dad's yeah. name, but it's a Hebrew Trisha is now in her second trimester, so she should be finding out pretty soon whether there is going to be a little Moses or little Trisha running around later on this year. One YouTuber that certainly is not preparing for motherhood this year is Miss Mongoose. Having just celebrated the launch of her canned wine, Disney, Tana finally shared the vlog that she made of the launch night with us, and it seems to be just as messy as she promised. Tana said that she invited everyone she knew in LA and that everyone showed up and got the drunkest that she has ever seen them all, of course, all while promoting her new wine. Tana invited current friends, boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, and future boyfriends to the party and ended up having to have someone else take over the filming of the vlog so she could comfortably black out. She even invited the infamous boy that caused the drama between her and Brooke, or the Mindy situation as we all likely know of it as. Tana's Dizzy Wine is a four-pack of small cans that all alcohol level-wise equate to a full bottle of wine. And it seems to me that the reaction throughout the celebrities she was having drink it was genuine enjoyment. As for a regular posting schedule, I don't think that's on the cards for Tana, as it's not necessary for her at the moment, but she did try and get Jeff Wittig to let her be a co-host on his podcast. Jeff doesn't seem like a dumb guy, so surely he would understand that, that might not be the most reliable decision. But the pair had some pretty deep conversations during her recent appearance on his podcast. Jeff opened up a little about his current situation with all of the David stuff, and he says that when he gets in a headspace, he should really give his phone to someone else. He says that when he was talking about the medical bills not being paid, he actually thinks that David didn't know anything about them, and that the fault for that more fell on the insurance company that he was dealing with. Is Jeff possibly feeling some remorse after seeing David's podcast addressing everything? Jeff still says that he was being totally honest with everything that he said. And while on the topic of toxic friendships and relationships, Tana opens up a bit to Jeff and shares some of her own. Tana says that she and Shane mended everything at the Jeffree Star skin launch party and that a lot of things were cleared up and resolved, and they're cool now. Tana says that she may have been overthinking everything, but quote, sometimes people do things that are too far. Tana understands that Shane was a huge helping brand with her career after TanaCon, and she says that he gave her a platform to speak and basically reignite her career. So it seems that she might feel like she owes him a little bit after that. I always thought that the two of them were genuinely close, but with the nature of YouTube, business, and how LA seems to work, who really knows the truth of friendships like that and if anything is ever real? Shane is very much back and is posting regularly on Instagram and has promised a new video this Tuesday. So you know us, we will be ready and waiting to let you guys know the tea on that. 
But if Shane's recent past videos are anything to go by, they will likely be very careful and strategic as he is likely aware the ice is very, very thin and everyone is watching everything us included. As I say, we will be covering that video when it drops, so hit the notification bell so you don't miss the hot tea on that. As for Tana's friendship with James Charles though, still got beef and apparently it won't be resolved and it seems like she doesn't even want to entertain that idea. Which is fair enough and Jeff seems to agree with that saying that James has a problem that he can't fix. Back in baby world for a second, the Ace family had a pregnancy scare this week and of course not only shared it with us but also turned it into a weird joke and involved the kids. The Ace family recently shared with us that Catherine was late for her period and they decided to get a pregnancy test. Content King Austin was ready with camera in hand. It's not that we don't want more kids, it's just that we don't need any more kids. Our three kids are enough. Like, it's weird. It's like, I, I feel bad saying I don't want kids, but I truly don't want more kids, but I feel bad saying it because I'd be okay with another one. Seems that their cast might be full and they're no longer hiring any more characters to the Ace Family show. Is it ready yet or not? No, Where'd I'm, you put I'm, it? I'm, like, I'm like really scared right now. Where'd you put it? Where'd you hide it? Can we turn the camera off and then check it and then like... No, we're not doing that. Why would you turn the camera off? Catherine, there's house bills to pay. We can't turn the camera off. The test does turn out to be negative. Cue collective sigh of relief. But Catherine and Austin decide to get the children's opinion on a possible new addition to the family. Shamelessly, they film the kids while asking them if they would want another little brother or sister and even film the youngest daughter while she is crying. Usual Ace Family BS, but honestly, family channels never fail to make me cringe. It seems that the whole family is on the same page with not wanting another child, or sorry, correction, not needing another child, and Catherine even suggests to Austin to get the procedure. Likely realizing that there isn't enough in this video, Catherine and Austin decide to drag their brothers Landon and Ryan into the situation by turning the pregnancy thing into a prank. They doctor the test and add their own line and then prank both brothers who, in my opinion, don't really seem to to care as much as I think they hoped they would. Austin let us know as well during this video that there is a big announcement coming on March 19th and they will be letting us know about another Ace Family event that will be even bigger than all of the past ones. They close out the video assuring us that they will let us know when Catherine gets her period. Thank god am I right? Let's move on to some tea from the Kardashian clan and this time, no Kim, we are talking about Khloe Kardashian hitting headlines and being called a hypocrite. During the same interview that Kim told us all to just work harder, Chloe also shared some really inspirational advice woman to woman. Chloe basically said that blaming women when men cheat is not cool and really hurtful. She said, if your significant other is doing something wrong, for the woman to be blamed, that's always been hurtful for me. I've never quite understood that. Now, of course, the internet is exploding and referring back to the Chloe and Jordan Woods drama when Tristan and Jordan hooked up and Chloe wasn't super stoked on that situation. Just to catch up for you guys on that, I'll throw some screenshots up here for you. Pause to read. People found this comment in the Variety interview quite hypocritical as Chloe showed us all that she can get really mean and nasty with another woman that her man has cheated on her with. And that call out is fair in my opinion. Playing devil's advocate, just for a second though, do not come for me, I think the difference is that Jordan and Chloe were friends, and that does violate a friend rule, right? I totally agree that when someone cheats, it's wrong to put all the blame on this other individual, especially when you don't know them, as they are not the ones who broke your trust. And when you do that, when it's like girl versus girl in these situations, a lot of the heat that should be aimed at the guy isn't, and he almost kind of gets away with it. But in this circumstance, they were friends, and that's a little different. Hypocritical though, yes, I see it, just playing both sides here. But I would love to see some discussion on this in the comment section as I'm sure a lot of you have opinions and past experiences involving this yourself, so let's discuss. Also, while we are talking about Chloe real quick, I see that she was locked out of her car this week. Someone came along to help her, so no worries, she didn't have to take the bus or anything. Lastly, let's talk about these liars. Arrested for lying. <laughs> Just kidding, but they are liars, and they were totally arrested. YouTubers Sauce and Honey, aka Johnson LaRose, and Charlotte Fisher attempted to do the overnight challenge in a Pennsylvania Target and got arrested for it. What the kicker is, is that they actually snuck out of the Target at 3am and then came back when the store opened to make it look like they stayed there all night. I find that more offensive than anything else that we've covered today. <laughs> 
The police got a hold of the video that they shot and were not happy about it, arresting them both for trespassing and conspiracy. The couple are set to be back in court on March 24th, but Charlotte told a reporter that they have no regrets about the whole situation. I want the judge to make them answer for the lie that they tried to spin to their viewers more than the trespassing thing. If they had gotten away with it, no one would know about the leaving at 3 a.m. thing. And what's more, I bet they wouldn't have got caught right away if they didn't try and spoof the entire thing, as well as by them sneaking out, they tripped the alarm. They were still caught on camera and everything, but I don't know if they would have been caught right away like they were. Anyways, I will keep an eye out for whatever charges they may get, and in all reality, hopefully it isn't too bad, as we all know many YouTubers have done this in the past and met no punishment, so it would be pretty unfair for them to get charged with anything serious, like, come on. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any hot tea as we do upload every single day. And for now, let's share some eye bleach and get on with enjoying the rest of our days.